Last week, Travis Scott held his massive MetLife Stadium Utopia show that is breaking records. And while it was an amazing show, we didn't get new music or new music announcements. And some people have been wondering about this. So today we'll go over the reason why he didn't announce new music or new album at this show and also how this new cactus con is connected to it so let's jump straight into this if you want to stay up to date with everything surrounding hip-hop make sure to subscribe and also become a part of this community by joining our discord server in the description first of all i want to know if any of y'all were actually there you know in the crowd just at the concert let me know in the comments i would love to hear some real life real person reviews or just impressions from the concert because it looked pretty cool on the stream or on you know youtube so let me know if you were actually there so let's establish what happened last week travis scott held his utopia one night only show at metlife stadium which is huge he is the first rapper to headline metlife stadium which is obviously massive and for him to do this kind of stadium is pretty amazing it just shows how successful he really is and how many people he's really reaching with all of this who are going there obviously and in total this was a one and a half hour show you can find streams of almost the entire thing up on youtube a lot of people posted their vlogs their kind of reactions to it and it was pretty cool i mean they played fiend seven times that was pretty cool as well not the record of 10 times that they did in i believe uh, milan italy but still pretty uh, a lot of times also he brought out future and cardi to perform songs like you know type shit and that was just a pretty cool moment i mean cardi doesn't go on everybody's shows and travis is apparently someone that he then says yes to he also brought out Sheck west that was known before so all in all this was just a very cool show this was the perfect utopia show the set list was very similar to the stuff that he played during his actual utopia tour for example the europe show that i went to had somewhat of the same you know set listing that they did so this was the thing that i talked about with not getting new music it was basically a utopia tour show but for example he did play stuff like most city flexologist which is a fan favorite and a song that we never thought we would actually get but that then dropped as a deluxe four days before rodeo and that also only recently got a music video which is insane for travis to go back and do a music video for this also to do a music video for you know drugs you should try it that just shows that travis you know i know he wants to make money but that just shows that he also cares about the deep cuts the old cuts that fans have been demanding for such a long time so that was amazing to hear that song live at least on video was an amazing moment for any travis scott fan but and here is the big but there's no new music you know we had a lot of expectations for this show for travis scott to announce new music to preview new music and even before this happened i know i've seen a lot of videos on youtube a lot of comments on social media about maybe even an album being announced because this was such a big show also the pictures from the show with the topia freefall tower in the middle of it just seemed like it was set out to be something that is supposed to be really big and really monumental as i said it's not the case that this wasn't it was an amazing show we just didn't get those expectations of new music announcements fulfilled that a lot of people had beforehand i had my doubts i thought this was just going to be a show like this but let's talk about why travis decided against previewing new music or announcing new music now new music obviously means a new solo record that people are suspecting to be dropping next year because if you take a look at his discography he basically dropped every one to two years it's only that big break between astroworld and utopia that you know we are just got, we just gotten used to travis not dropping frequently but before that his career was pretty stacked with the release i believe every year from 2014 to 2018 and then a big break obviously with jack boys in between jack boys is the next big thing jack boys 2 could be one of the new albums that is also dropping now travis did advertise this as his last utopia show so it could just be that he wanted to end the utopia area properly without announcing new music just a full circle closed with you know the tour and now this one-off 
show and i mean this is probably a cool idea and this also means that if this was the ending of the utopia area that we are from this point forward moving into a new era which is obviously a very good sign for new music to be dropping so that is a positive that I definitely want to point out, this means now we are entering a new era, and we'll talk about that in connection to this new convention that he announced in a second. But second of all, I also want to say that, you know, concerning Jack Boys 2, it's likely the case that Jack Boys 2 will not be coming out this year, because I, I did think that if it was dropping this year, which I did think up to a certain point that he was still going to drop it this year, then I believe he would have, you know, said something at this show. It's the middle of October. For this to still be dropping this year, I believe something would have to be hinted at. The only option that I see right now is if it's the same situation as in 2019 with the first Jack Boys, where they drop it around Christmas or around late December. That is still an option that I could see that is very well reasonable, but we have to wait and see how that actually turns out. Now let's talk about this new convention, because a couple of days ago, on his Instagram, he posted this announcement of CactusCon in Las Vegas from November 16th to 17th. And in the caption, he wrote, Vegas, we bring to life something wild. Can't wait to see these different worlds come to life. Resort world letting design the rooms for the weekend. This might be a new level of amusement park. See you there. Now he's announcing this Cactus Convention in Las Vegas at the Resort Hotel, which is a very popular venue there. Also, a lot of sporting events get carried out there. And we can see this cover for this apparently amusement park convention. I do believe that amusement park could be just a metaphor for something because he also had these amusement park installations with the Topia Tower at the one-off MetLife Stadium show that I talked about. So maybe this is just something that is somewhat of an aesthetic that he's carrying on. Maybe also the Astro World aesthetic, which was an amusement park. And we've seen a lot of roller coasters in the Astro World music videos. Now the Freefall Tower. So let's see what this is all about. We don't know anything about it. It's still very unclear. It is set to have certain panels on there where he'll be discussing new music. It is set to have performances of new music. You can buy VIP tickets to this. It's still pretty mysterious as to what this could be. But what I immediately thought is that this would be the perfect opportunity to announce new music, even Jack Boys 2, if it is dropping at the end of the year. Now, obviously, we, we can't just kind of live show to show with Travis. We can't just be like, oh, he didn't announce anything on this show. Next month is the next one. He'll announce it then. So I do want to put this out there with a grain of salt that this is a possibility. This is just the next best possibility. It's not confirmed that he'll actually be announcing something at CactusCon. But it's the next thing that we can look forward to as Travis Scott fans. And also if we consider new music to be dropping. So keep an eye out November 16th to 17th cactus con in las vegas i'll keep y'all updated so make sure you stay subscribed not to miss out on any travis scott news but this is the best thing that we have right now and we can just end the utopia era now with the metlife stadium show and that was a beautiful show it ended that era and now we're moving into hopefully with cactus con this next travis scott era so i do want to know what y'all think about this do you think cactus con will be the event that will get to see some sort of announcement of new music or new era or will this just go by and we still don't know anything about new music let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases make sure to subscribe turn on notifications hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly join my discord in the description until the next one, we'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.